Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Factorio with me, Latherix, and welcome to a almost coal-free production line. Yes, I've been very, very busy off camera. I've been producing the electric furnaces at last and being upset that they still produce quite a bit of pollution, even if nowhere near as much as their um, burner counterparts. And I have also been a busy bee doing things like the solar panels and some more research. We're actually currently already researching the electric accumulators. The big problem is we need to get some oil stuff flowing because there is a lot of stuff we actually need to sort out with the oil to produce sulfur, the sulfur into batteries, and then finally the batteries will allow us to produce the accumulators themselves. So we need a production line to make batteries because batteries, I'm fairly certain, are also needed in science packs level 3. So actually that's only that's the only real difficult thing in there. Um, advanced circuits are annoying but not actually that difficult. So um, that's what we're going to be trying to do. So we're going to make a, a battery production line essentially today. Not the actual science packs because that's a lot of complexity and we'll try and have the machinery as much as possible down here in this line so that the um, so that the science line can continue to be the science line. Now, there have been many enemy attacks, but all the enemy attacks, even after changing over to the electric furnaces, have came from the northeast still, so this lovely defence line has been able to protect them. However, I came to a shocking realisation by myself, and sadly, all of your warnings of this went a little bit unheeded, because I didn't actually have a chance to read the comments until, well, it actually happened. Yeah, it turns out the little bitey buggers can attack through corners, because reasons. I'm not quite sure what the reasons are, but I can. So I've had to reinforce the corners of the wall just to make sure that doesn't happen in the future. So, let's get cracking on the batteries. So batteries, if I can find them, would be awesome, require sulfur, sulfuric acid. Now, sulfuric acid requires sulfur and water. And sulfur requires water and petroleum, petroleum glass petroleum gas in the chemical plant, so you should actually be able to make sulfur. Yep, okay, cool. So, that's actually pretty easy, we just need to fit in some water. We, we have enough rubber for now that we can stop production, and we can start production again later on if needed. And of course it will be needed because a lot of stuff uses rubber, including the solar panels I do so revere. So, um, just for a few stats about the electric furnaces. The electric furnaces do sadly produce pollution, however, they produce just about, in fact it perfectly, half the amount of a regular bla uh, bla is it burner furnace? Uh, stone furnace, I've always got a burner furnace, but that must, must just be the, um, the extractor. But they're also twice the efficiency if they're powered to full. Now, while it's daytime, I currently can power everything at 100%. Which is awesome, by the way. Look! Oh, well, almost. Oh, it's so close. It's close, but not quite. Um, wow, why are they so low? I was going to say, I normally can produce... What's wrong with you guys? Performance zero. You have water, you have water, you have water. You're all fully cold up. That's odd. I, I think it's something to do with how the power's being um, shared. They're just not being needed. Oh, of course, yeah, but it's not being needed. That's awesome. Cool. Okay, so back to, to making sulfur. So to make sulfur, we're going to need to um, turn this thing around. So right now, we're not using the heavy and light um, oil, which is terrible because it's going to stack up here and, and again, no use. But it ha has so many uses. We're definitely going to use it in the future, but right now, I'm just... I need the electric accumulators. To, to do everything else, they really need to be part of this world. So I will be making them. So anyway, uh, anyway I hope you like the kind of, um, the style of this Let's Play where I just build away by myself and then every now and again, once I've done enough, I'll, I'll make a video and, you know, do, do half an hour of the game with you all. Because I could do, like, um, a lot of fast-forward scenes and everything, but I think that does end up being quite clunky and quite, um, and quite erratic, really. Okay, so I need a pump. Uh, the digger offshore pump, and then I just need more pipes. Uh, some ground pipes, actually. I think um, pipe to ground would be better, just because I could actually do that and not be really confuzzled about everything. 
you see in this way I can go in here. There we go. So there's water. You want to make sulfur. So we need water and... Oh, water has to go in the other one. Why do you have to be so specific, lad? Well, then it's definitely a good reason to use the, the um, ground pipes. Did I make any? Oh, they all got used up making the regular pipes, didn't they? Of course they did. Okay, so petroleum can go... Whee! All the way into its new home. And now that should be able to make... Oh! Lathrix, what did you just say about the freaking pumps? Oh, yeah, I, oh, I should need them. Lathrix has, has a memory of a finely tuned potato. Well, that makes sulfur quickly. And that's sadly producing pollution. So, sadly, we are still making a lot of pollution. But as long as our energy is free, then we are at least saving quite a lot. Because these things are horrible pollution wise. Each one of these boilers is pollution at six. Uh, they all just die. Yeah, all, all the enemies just ran into the grinding wall again and died. Well, that's just life, I'm afraid, for them. They really are quite suicidal. So, yeah. Our pollution is definitely lowering while we're using these, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, we are, we are definitely producing more power than we need. Excellent. That's really nice. I love seeing that. So, okay, so now we have sulfur. What do we need after sulfur to make the sulfuric acid? Water and iron. Why do we need iron? Oh yeah, of course you need iron to make sulfuric acid. Oh. Should we... Hmm. Well, I'm going to be upgrading this soon anyway, and it's already feeding it over max, so, uh... Oh god, I'm not doing any research. What the hell am I doing? Can't do that. Lasers are kind of cool, I guess. Laser turrets and military free is cool. Explosives is awesome. Uh, advanced that. Uh, ooh, that take it to robotics. I would like robotics. Flammable. You know what? Flammables. I want a flamethrower. I really want a flamethrower, but at the same time... Actually, no, I want a car. So what do I need for a car? For a car, I need... Logistics and engine, so we're going to research engine. Because I need a car to go down there and start killing those freaking bases before they start attacking us. So, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to I was going to steal some iron because I'm going to upgrade this later anyway. So yeah. Also, look how many freaking really really now stop bad bad. I was gonna say look how much coal I've got in my inventory. <laughs> look how much freaking pieces of coal I've got, but then I got distracted and pressed the wrong button. Okay, so we've got enough splitters already, uh, going to need a lot of um, tracks, obviously, and this is going to drain from this track at the moment, which just kind of suck. Or I could make a new engine here and start pumping it west and therefore not, not dis disrupt the track at all. I think, yeah, I think that'd be best. Okay, so we're going to make a new electric furnace, which is going to take a while. I'm just going to stand here, so I'll probably just skip ahead. If future Lathrix is listening during editing... Okay, and we are back, yay. So the next thing I want as well is, is logistics level 2. Okay, so um, I also took the liberty of starting to clean up this area over here, because like I say, this needs to all be used for a, for an oil kind of uh, manufacture and purification, all that good stuff, and at the moment it's being used up by a stone mine and coal lines. So I've just um, cleaned up this section down here, so the ammo is, now, is no longer coal dependent. I'll either be changing that to the same... There's the funny thing. How much smaller this would be if it's... Okay, so I'm going to make an electric furnace while I'm doing all this all this um, work over here, and, and and then we'll clean up that area, because that's I've just realised how much smaller that will be once it's cleaned up. So... Ah, this way I don't need any more um, thingies. Lines, uh, cables, uh, these things. What are they called? They're called electric poles, of course they are. It's like it's the most simple name you could possibly give them, and that's what they that have been given to them. There we go. Like that. Carrying on forth. I'll actually just remove this coal line since, like I say, I'm going to fix it as soon as the engine's finished in my inventory. Which means I don't need this this turn either, which is fantastic. Don't need that either. There we go. As soon as you remove coal from the equation for like, energy production and stuff, everything becomes so much easier. Well, not easier, but cleaner, smarter, um, looks the part. There we go. So, back to what I was doing. La 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 so, um, la So, we're making sulfuric acid, yes? So, sulfuric acid will be... Is it just made in another one of these? Really? But... Really? Oh yeah, so it is. Hmm, that's weird though, because that means that we're going to have to pipe water into it again. Oh. That's going to be awkward. Unless I split the pipe. 
yes, I'll have to do it to split the pipes, which means I'm going to have to make this one underground instead. This one can't be underground. So this one becomes underground and instead, like that. Then the water one comes across, la 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 la. And this one I've gone to, oh god, that's actually, damn, them both using the same sodding, um, oh, you don't need, oh good, oh good, I thought for a second it would need the, um, the, the, the petroleum for some reason, it doesn't, so it's absolutely fine, okay, so we're going to need to put the sulfur in there, we're going to need to put the, okay, so we need a long inserter for that one, because I want to actually keep it as it is, uh, okay, put it back. Do I have any long inserters ready? I have. Fantastic. So we get the long inserter and we put that here. Everything's taking a lot longer now, have you noticed? So it's 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 become that part of the game now where everything gets a lot more complex and takes a lot longer than it used to. And while all that's going on, we can sort out this mess over here. And by sort it out, I mean actually honestly delete ninety percent of it. I'll have you, I'll have you, I'll have you, I'll have you, I don't need that power. Oh, it's actually being powered. Oh. So I don't actually need, need a power cable. Excellent. Even more space. Like, 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 like I keep saying, this area over here really needs to be converted to its true purpose of um, oil production and good stuff like that. So as much space as possible, please, would be awesome. Put that there like that. I put the electric furnace here. And then we put the grabber, attach it to there. We just need one of the chests. I'm sure, use the, use the iron chest because I have it ready with me. Goes into the furnace. Oh, okay, so there's one more space than that, so that's good there. Which is annoying, that's that's the one space that the um that the grabber doesn't actually grab. Because it has no power. So GG to that, there we go, and then that feeds that, which then can just drop into a chest. And there we go, all that is sorted out nicely, and, th and thus we don't need to um, worry about all that st look how, look how small that is in comparison to how it used to be. For essentially the same, almost the same level of um, smelting. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, back to this. So we've just made the oil, the chemical plant, so the chemical plant can go here. It looks weird so close, I don't like it there. I'd rather have one up, so that... Oh, that's going to have to be a long inserter as well, because we're, cause we're going to add the water pipe, aren't we? So yes, I think it to be a long inserter in addition. So let's make some pipes, if I can find the pipes, that'd be absolutely phenomenal. There they are. I knew there's in this pipe, I just couldn't see them. I just couldn't see them. Why does everything have to be in the way of what I'm trying to do? What is wrong with me? There we are, and you can make sulfuric acid. Seriously, though? There. Oh. Of course, it needs to be the way. See, I've never actually used the, the... the Oh, well, I've never actually used the long inserters in that way. <laughs> That's bizarre. Okay, well, there we go. We're now making um, sulfuric acid. So what do so what else do I need finally for a sodding battery? I need an iron plate, a copper plate, and the sulfuric acid, which is also made in a freaking chemical plant. Everything is made in chemical plants. Like seriously, what is with this? Also, we can use all, all, all of our oil on, on chemical plants at this rate. Also, our our first pump jack is now almost r r ran dry because of this. There we go. It's got the chemical plant of happiness. Which which I assume we can just attach directly, I mean... Right? Batteries. Yes, okay, so it can attach just directly, which is very nice indeed. So then it's going to need iron. Click. No, remember last time, Lathex? Click. And click. And finally it's going to need some copper, which also, by the way, is fully electric now. Which we can just split off the main line, like so. 
we're going to need to replace some of these lines very soon. I must, um, I must confess, with the faster variation because I can now make fast um, tracks. They're just a bit more expensive. Actually, how much are, are they? No, I've never actually looked properly. The fast tracks require the original tracks essentially, so it's like double the length of them, time to make them. I'm tempted to make an automated process to make them because how long is going to freaking take? Otherwise, what do I? What do I put it all out there? That's just wasteful. I'm so I find myself very wasteful with um, with like some of the small commodities. But that's what's that is really what's what's going to be my undoing. It's why I keep having these large areas to build things which I don't need. For instance, uh, I don't want that there. Put it here instead. We have batteries. Okay, so what do I need now for the accumulator? Just batteries. Awesome. Okay, so I need to just grab the batteries out then. Because for now, we're not using it in, in the assembly line. We, we will be later, by the way. Like I was saying, um, we need batteries in the assembly line for later on. It's weird, because um, how we're kind of progressing, we keep skipping um, steps, I find. We're going for like, very ambitious stuff um, and ignoring some of the more simplistic stuff on the way, but I think that's fine. If Because I really want to get some of the, li some of the light game, because this game is so cool! I really love this game. So, so look, look, I'm making batteries in a really inefficient, silly setup. I'm making freaking batteries, guys. Batteries! Okay, fantastic. I'll have you. And for now, I'll just manually ma make, the, make the accumulators. I'm just going to hold each. Five megajoules. That is very little. My lord. I mean, how much power I'm using per second? I'm using that per freaking... I'm using half of that per second. Wow, the steam engines are actually off. That's good though. I mean, I mean that's a good thing because it means that now we're... So I need enough of these. Where am I going to put them? Where's the where's the accumulator field going to? I'm guessing over here, up here? Is where the accumulator... Is that a red splodge on the map? No, it's, uh, it's just oil, thank god. <laughs> oh, I thought, oh my god, no, not another one of those. So I guess we could put it up here and have this segment. So this should just go out as much as possible. Ooh, listen to that crackle! Yes, we have sweet, sweet power. Power beyond our wildest dreams is now at hand. Basically, I have electricity. And all the girls love a man with electricity. These are actually really easy to make. That's nice. Oh, so much stuff we need to put places. Um... Who wants my panels? Can I put panels in you? Eh, nope. I also need to work on modules. I mean, I know they exist, and I know that there's also like efficiency modules and stuff, I just haven't used them yet. Speed module, productivity module, and efficiency module. Yes, if that's one I really want, lowers consumption of energy. However, right now I really want the freaking car. Now I know the fact the car, the the problem with the car stuff is, um, you do actually, I think it's the engine units themselves, which I now can make. Yeah, I, I can't make myself by hand. They have to be made in a, in a machine. So I think I, I guess I should really get to work on that, and then go and get a car and start actually patrolling the area and stopping some of the attacks before they happen in the future, which would be very very nice indeed. But for now, look, we have more accumulators. Hurrah! Two, three, and there's going to be a gap here. Oh wait, that means there should have been a gap there. If you can't tell, that that that's been the pattern I've been using. Um, essentially sections of three, so that I can walk through these things without getting stuck. Oh, that sweet crackle though. So, so essentially, each one of these is giving me about two seconds of energy when it comes to night time. Oh my lord, I'm going to need a lot more than that. How cool is that though when they're charging? That's so cool! These can be dismantled soon! Oh yes! Sweet mercy of yesness! That's going to be so amazing, it'll be awesome. Uh, let's see. So it's using gas faster than it's being produced, probably because I'm not even producing much gas at all anymore. Much oil rather. Ooh, that's a concern. Wow, it's so slow now. Yeah, I've almost um, tapped this first um, pool driver, but, but I don't really need more than one derrick at a time right now. So we've got to figure out a use for this other oil. So what on earth can I use this other oil for? 
I mean, right now, just some solid fuel, but I don't really need the fuel for anything other than the cars later on, so I guess uh, just pump them both into a fuel maker? Uh, I mean, I might as well use it for something. Can't see what else I can really use it for, though, at this stage. Also, next thing we need is trains, because it won't be long now until we start running out of, I of iron, because we are going to start using it at such a high speed. Um, we're going to need to bring in... Another thing is oil. O oil is a very, very finite resource, and I want to start protecting this base, so we're going to need trains to get stuff from one area to the next. That's going to be a very, very soon thing indeed. So, ooh, it's, it's almost night time. I want to see when the... So I guess when the need of the system... There you go, is higher than the use of the system, then the accumulators will turn on and actually start powering it as a result. Yep, there you go. So they're just compensating for the lack of power. That's really cool. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to, definitely going to need more of those. I'll f do those off camera and I will sort out the engine line so that so when we come back, because the engine line's quite simple, you see, so it's, it's not anything you really need to pay attention to too, too much. All it uses is pipes, iron gear wheels, and, and, and steel plates, which just means I need to make pipes separately because so, so, I'm already making it. I'm already making um, gear wheels in so many places, I don't mind stealing from there. So, uh, let's see. What do, what do pipes actually need? Oh, pipes are just iron plates. So actually, no, I could, just, I could just make it off one line. So I can make it here. I won't be making it here, but I can make it... So actually, I'm just realized I have this whole coal mine now spare. Okay, yep, this line here is going to be the... Um, t is going to, to be the production line. I'm, I'm even going to make my own steel here. So I'm going to make a little um, fortified section here, which is going to be for the engine parts, so that we can make a car. Yay! Damn, they're already gone! That fizzled out, and that was with the um, boiler as a spare. Yeah, we're going to need so, so many more of those darn things. Thankfully, we are making batteries at a ridiculously quick level, uh, speed, even, even with the lack of um, gas actually coming in. Look, I've, I've already got enough another two. So, anyway, thank you for watching Sir and Threats. If you have enjoyed this episode, of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Factorio is a series you still want to see continued. Honestly, right now, I'd say this is the game I'm playing the most off-camera, and I'm absolutely freaking loving it. So, I'm I'm really happy that, that there are quite a few of you, I wouldn't say a lot of you, it's, it's probably my least viewed series now, because, because of Dark Echo being on, on, on hiatus. But still, I'm so glad that many of you actually do enjoy it, because I am loving this game. And look at what we've made. Oh, that's what I love, zooming out and going, Jeez, look how much we've actually made! That's awesome! Batteries! Sir and Surettes. Batteries! Okay, yeah, so thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Please do take care. And until next time, goodbye.